Hello friends, welcome to Student Blog. Uh, in this uh, video, we'll be looking at uh, what's new in Win VMware vSphere 8. So, VMware vSphere 8 uh, is enterprise workload platform that brings the benefit of uh, cloud to on-prem on-premises workloads. It supercharges performance with DPU and uh, GPU based acceleration, enhance uh, operational efficiency through the VMware Cloud Console seamlessly integrates with add-on hybrid uh, cloud services and uh, accelerates innovation with an enterprise uh, ready integrated Kubernetes runtime that runs containers along with uh, VMs. So like you're looking at here so uh, whatever I was saying all are uh, uh, like uh, mentioned here so as uh, VMware products uh, uh, you guys seeing the failure is very very less so they are perfect in designing their products so these are the uh, contents we are going to discuss what are the new features uh, and uh, uh, we'll be discussing about all like VMware, vSphere, scalability, resource management improvement, uh, vSphere security, uh, vSphere lifecycle manager, enhanced recovery of uh, vCenter, uh, vSphere configuration profiles, so device virtualization extensions, guest operating systems, VMware, vSphere with uh, Tanzu. Like uh, we'll be discussing each of the uh, new features or changes happened in uh, vSphere 8 so let's let's go and uh, proceed so vSphere uh, VMware vSphere 8 has a significant number of uh, improvements uh, so let's let's go with uh, VMware vSphere scalability so talking about the scalability uh, these are the new improvements to vSphere scalability like you see the difference between uh, vSphere 7.7u3 uh, and uh, vSphere 8 so a couple of things got changed few are uh, remaining as it is uh, in that uh, like if you see here uh, vGPU per VM increased from 4 to 8 and uh, and <coughs> lifecycle manager can now manage up to 1000 host previously it was only 400 and uh, we can manage 10,000 VMs per cluster previously it was 8000 uh, each ESXA host can now have up to 32 VM direct path IO devices each which was 8 before so like uh, uh, next comes uh, uh, DRS management improvements uh, resource management improvements that is DRS and uh, persistent memory uh, VMF vSphere allows uh, DRS to better understand the memory of workloads uh, using persistent memory. This allows DRS to uh, more intelligently place VMs on hosts without affecting performance or uh, resource utilization. Uh, this is the uh, like screenshot uh, I took it from VMware. So thanks to VMware. This is VMware courtesy and uh, uh, like uh, you can see that uh, like uh, below screenshot for the uh, performance overview so DRS uh, imp improvements for application using persist uh, persistent memory in uh, vSphere 8 next comes vSphere green metrics uh, so in vSphere 8 there are number of new green metrics which are exposed to v uh, VROPS to help uh, manage and energy usage and carbon emission of the data center which includes uh, power capacity uh, usage VM usage system uh, usage ideal so this is the screenshot where you can see uh, uh, the carbon and power metrics in uh, VROPS so this is uh, uh, vSphere green matrix next comes uh, vSphere security uh, vSphere 8 security so in vSphere 8 uh, there are a number of improvement important securities uh, improvements so like one is uh, improvements to SGX vSphere 8 will only support uh, TLS 1.2 and higher version so there is no support for 1.0 and 1.1 so no more legacy TLS version support so this is very much a uh, good aspect of uh, IT security uh, vulnerability so untrusted binaries are prevented by default uh, SSH can be automatically disabled after a specified timeout on ESXi host so 
any any further in, uh, enhancements on the security we you, you can reach out to vmware site uh, for more uh, details on the guidelines so next comes uh, vSphere life cycle management so uh, deprecation of update manager uh, so while still support in windows uh, like vmware 8 uh, update manager will no longer be supported in latest version of vSphere so staging cluster images just as with uh, uh, vm like uh, update manager baselines it is now possible to stage cluster images to ESXi host ahead of remediation this significantly speeds up the remediation time of ESXi host you can stage all hosts within a cluster with one click uh, for the details uh, we can just uh, uh, for the more the host do not need to be maintained maintain my maintenance mode to stage cluster images so this is the screenshot uh, so where you can see uh, like uh, staged all uh, like you have this option added so next comes a uh, parallel remediation so rather than updating one host at a time it is uh, now possible in vSphere to remediate ESX in parallel all ESX, ESX are put in maintenance mode by the administrator product to the remediation then lifecycle manager will remediate all hosts in the maintenance mode up to a configurable uh, max 10 by default so like if you go and see this screenshot uh, like uh, you can see it here so parallel remediation lifecycle manager for uh, vSphere 8 so this is a screen provided by vSphere uh, VMware so next comes enhanced recovery of uh, vCenter uh, so if a vCenter server is restored from a backup cluster configuration becomes reverted if there were many vCenter level changes in meanwhile as an example if you add a ESXi host to a cluster and then restore the VM uh, vCenter to a period of time before the host was added it gets confusing so with the new version of uh, vCenter server in vSphere 8 the cluster becomes the source of the trust in this example the vCenter is uh, restored and, and on boot it, re it queries the cluster for any new ESXi host <coughs> the cluster will then uh, update the vCenter server with the real time cluster status so uh, this screenshot uh, shows like uh, it, how it will take the configuration from desired config uh, so again this was uh, VMware, VMware courtesy so <coughs> so we are talking of the vSphere configuration profiles uh, host co profiles are still available in vSphere 8 uh, uh, but vSphere configuration profiles are being introduced as tech view feature in vSphere 8 so uh, rather than specifying a profile level configuration and uh, attaching it to the object such as an ESX host uh, now we define the configuration on the cluster object and the child host with up, uh, will obtain that uh, configuration so uh, this is similar to how cluster images work in uh, in lifecycle manager and uh, ensures a consistent configuration for a cluster host further this feature at uh, GA will monitor compliance and report on the configuration drift and uh, allow for remediation back to desired state if it were to derive uh, away from the desired configuration so this is uh, a much more scalable option than available in the past so you can see this <coughs> uh, like uh, mentioned uh, this is the picture which uh, you can see like vSphere configuration profiles in vSphere 8 so next comes the device virtualization and extensions in past uh, VMs using hardware directly via uh, direct path IO for example uh, were somewhat restricted DVX builds upon direct path IO including an API for vendors to use allowing them to create virtualization features including live migration suspend and resume disk and uh, memory snapshots so uh, uh, this is uh, uh, what we are discussing about essentially this means that VMs which use the direct IO Direct path IO in the future will be able to utilize more virtualization features, uh, vMotion, etc., instead of being tied to the underlying host. So, you can see the picture, and um, are pretty simple to understand uh, how the features added. So, device virtualization extension in vSphere 8. 
so next comes a uh, guest uh, like uh, virtual tpm provisioning uh, provisioning policy uh, which we which was added as a new feature uh, so <coughs> give me a sec uh, talking about the guest operating system uh, uh, now vmware uh, hardware version is now uh, 20 so a new new hardware version ships with uh, uh, vmware vsphere 8 hardware version 20 includes uh, the following uh, Mm, following uh, so virtualization hardware uh, support for the latest intel and adm cpus device virtualization extensions support up supports up to 32 direct io devices so guest services for application like uh, vSphere data sets application uh, aware migrations so this is very important so latest guest os support uh, performance and scalability support up to 8 vGPU devices, device groups, high latency sensitive with uh, hyper threading. Uh, so, next comes uh, virtual TPM provisioning, uh, provisioning policy. So, when uh, copying virtual machines with uh, vTPMs, uh, there is a security issue created since uh, many virtual machines uh, will have the same secret as another virtual machines. So in uh, vSphere 8, uh, there is a TPM provisioning policy which asks you if you wish to clone or replace the vTPM device on a virtual machine when cloning a virtual machine. The clone option will clone the TPM secrets whereas the replace option will uh, set the vTPM device as it was a new one being added. So uh, like uh, some uh, this existing uh, future but a uh, lot of changes happened so the new uh, vtpm provision policy in uh, vSphere 8 so which is having this uh, select uh, tpm provisioning policy copy or replace so when you select replace uh, it will give a pop-up warning pop the virtual machine clone will be created with a new with a brand new tpm device which will not have the access to the source virtual machine secrets so if you copy the secrets will be copied uh, so when you replace uh, uh, that uh, then secrets will be gone this will cause some application to fail in unexpected ways so this this pop this warning alert will come up so the uh, next is uh, a migration aware application which we were discussing in past uh, certain type of applications especially time sensitive wipe or uh, clustered applications uh, did not work well with vmotion so applications can now be written to be vmotion aware for example uh, application can be written so that uh, service are stopped before a vmotion starts and uh, resumed again afterwards alternatively the application could fail over to another cluster member and delay the commitments of uh, vmotion operation up to a point so uh, talking about the uh, latency sense to applications uh, there has been latency sense to options for the past few major releases in this release there has been a significant work done to improve application sensitivity to latency on the cpu side vcpus are now scheduled on the uh, same physical hyper threading core on the cpu when it is enabled so hardware 20 version 20 is required for this and uh, it can be easily configured uh, via vm settings so <coughs> if you go to the vm settings you'll be able to see this option so latency sens sensitivity when you select this one so first in place so we need to upgrade the hardware to 20 <coughs> when you do that i'm sorry when you do that uh, uh, when you when you set the latency set sensitivity you'll be able to see this warning and uh, uh, but still uh, warning and uh, uh, then uh, this up latency sensitivity application will uh, work and this is the configuration part uh, which was shared by VMware so next comes uh, uh, sorry so vnuma configuration and virtualization so vnuma is is far from a new vSphere concept but was configured via CLI and advanced settings making it uh, complex to manage in vSphere 8 uh, vnuma related options can be configured in the vSphere UI user interface there is also a useful uh, vnuma virtualization direct 
directly in the vSphere UI hardware 20 is required for this feature too so you can see this uh, um, uh, like the pictures where uh, we can see it in customization hardware like uh, Avenuma VM like these are the uh, where you can see this setting so so these are two different uh, pictures uh, where you can see directly through UI user interface so next comes uh, vSphere data sets uh, guest data sharing uh, this feature allow you to create small data sets uh, uh, which you can share between vSphere and a guest operating system S this is uh, particularly useful in following scenarios like a uh, guest uh, deployment status guest agent configuration guest inventory management so again for this also we need a uh, uh, version 20 and vm tools uh, required for virtual machine to use this feature so you can see here like these are the uh, what virtualize hardware innovations uh, guest service for application and uh, performance and scaling like these are the benefits available so this is for vmware tools uh, like how how it works uh, how data sets work with vmware tools integrating with the, uh, uh, the vmware tools so this is in a picture shared by vmware so you know, how how they work what like these are all mentioned here pretty simple to understand and next comes uh, vmware vSphere transum so Vs vSphere with transu was originally released in uh, vmware uh, 7.2 uh, but uh, in vSphere 8 um, transu kubernetes uh, grid 2.4 was launched so 1 kgt runtime okay so previously there were multiple uh, va variants of vSphere with uh, trans including TKG so superior <coughs> supervisor and guest clusters for uh, vSphere only so TKGM uh, management and uh, workload clusters for multi cloud including vSphere this release brings these options back into the TG TKG runtime which can run anytime so workload availability zones uh, so talking about this um, workload uh, availability zones is a new feature which allows you to isolate your uh, workloads over vSphere cluster supervisor and uh, transu kubernetes clusters can then be deployed across the zones this also allows you to ensure worker nodes are not on the same cluster improving uh, improving ability so this picture shows uh, how it works like uh, how uh, Tanzu Kubernetes cluster works so uh, the three workload availability zones are currently required and uh, one activated you will have a choice of using the traditional cluster methods and to also use the new availability zones so uh, initially uh, there will be a one to one relationship between a workload availability zone and a vSphere cluster uh, which will improve uh, which will uh, like uh, with the uh, improvements are uh, like they are coming soon so apart from these new features and uh, new changes uh, like uh, uh, customization of proton os and uh, event to images also done both uh, proton os and uh, event to images can also be customized and stored within a content library for uh, ease of management so this is also added so that's all uh, for this video uh, uh, like VMware vSphere 8 was released in August 2023 but uh, we are doing it very late but I uh, hope that is somewhat uh, informative for you guys uh, well like definitely we will uh, we'll do some videos training videos on this whatever we discussed and uh, in upcoming uh, uh, sessions I hope this is informative and uh, uh, useful for you guys uh, please do subscribe and like my videos thank you bye bye